Today we were at the park on a berry picking adventure. Lily spotted what looked to be a deceased mouse. Upon closer inspection, we realized she was still alive, but badly injured. I scooped her up along with my berry covered babies and we headed straight home. I put the little mouse on heat and assessed the situation. She was covered in fly eggs. I'm going to try to remove them in part, this part two. A trigger warning for trypophobia. I found her near death in a park covered in fly eggs. I'm using a comb to scrape them off. My skin was crawling for the rest of the day after doing this. There were so many eggs. I'll keep you updated on her progress. Right. Guess who made it through the night? Yesterday she was near death. Now she's just eating watermelon. She still has a wound on her cheek, so I'm applying antibiotic ointment. Her movement isn't great. She kind of just scoots around. Do we name her Scooter? What do you think? Dixon? Well, I think we're going to name her Scooter. Scoots for short. Anyway, she has a few lingering fly eggs that I haven't been able to get off, so I'm applying warm water to loosen it up. This is stressful for Scooter or any rodent, so it's not something I recommend, but she needed it because the fly eggs weren't going to come off on their own. I'm going to put her back on heat and let her rest. She's really tired. Scooter part 5. She's looking good after her bath, but I did notice a couple of bumps on top of her head. So instead of fully submerging her, I'm going to target the area with a big Q-tip. A few days ago, Scooter was terrified of me. Today, she was so content in my hands. It made me Thanks. happy. Scooter update. She's doing really well. So well, in fact, that I think it's time to release her back into the wild. We set her down in the front yard and watched her scoot away. Good luck, little buddy. I'm just kidding. I'm not letting her go. She's Let's not ready yet. Is that rehabs don't always have a happy ending. Scooter passed away. We think the growing bump on the back of her head may have been an abscess and ultimately took her life. We're laying her to rest overlooking Lake Huron. I made this rock to leave with her. Another to take home and remember her by. I'm so sorry, Scooter.